This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. You can read along with a lovely illustrated HTML version of this story. Just visit Gutenberg.org slash e-text slash one zero five five seven and click the html link on that page johnny crow's party by l leslie brook first edition nineteen o seven to my nephew somerset happy in a name that assures his welcome to johnny crow's or any other party Johnny Crow plied rake and hoe, and improved his little garden. And the eagle looked quite regal in Johnny Crow's garden. And the cockatoo said, Comment vous portez-vous? And the gander didn't understand her. But the flamingo talked the same lingo in Johnny Crow's garden. And the bear sang a sentimental air. But the giraffe was inclined to laugh. Even the duckling couldn't help chuckling. In Johnny Crow's garden. Then the snake got entangled with the rake. In Johnny Crow's garden. And the cock had a very nasty knock. So the hen said, We'll never come again to Johnny Crow's garden. And the sheep went to sleep. And the armadillo used him for a pillow. And the porcupine said, Wake me, if for talk you pine, in Johnny Crow's garden. And the kangaroo tried to paint the roses blue, till the camel swallowed the enamel. And the reindeer said, I'm sorry for your pain, dear, in Johnny Crow's garden. So the chimpanzee put the kettle on for tea, and the seal made a very big meal, while the sole shared a muffin with the mole in Johnny Crow's garden. Then they picked the flowers and wandered in the maze, and before they went their several ways, they all joined together in a hearty vote of praise of Johnny Crow and his garden. The End Read by Kara Schallenberg www.kray.org On July 24, 2006 in Oceanside, California.